Adding a coin shop to your game makes the game more interesting and it also adds playtime to your game. I'm currently making a coin shop system with visual scripting, but in this video I'm gonna show a very simple coin shop that you can make in your game. So right here in this game I have a tank. Currently you start with a blue tank, but in this level I added a red tank upgrade that you can get when you get 20 coins. Currently I just set up the visual, but we're gonna create the graph for it in this video. For the red tank I just used a sprite renderer and also added a box collider 2D that is set to is trigger. And then for the text that is on top of that tank, I used canvas and if you want it to be attached to the tank like I have it here, you have to make sure that you set canvas to world space instead of screen space overlay. And inside here, I just have text and an image for that coin. Just a quick run through how I set that up. Now the script for upgrading, I'm going to put on red tank. So let's add a component, a flow machine. We'll switch to embedded, added graph, and I won't need the start and update. Instead, what I'm going to do is on trigger, I'm going to be looking for a trigger with a player tag. This super unit is one of the units in my collection. If you haven't picked up the collection yet, be sure to pick it up. I'm always constantly updating it and adding more units to it. So on trigger enter, what I want to do is check if I have enough coins collected to purchase this upgrade. And currently I'm storing the coins as a saved variable. So we can use that and check if it's greater or equal to the price of our tank, which is 20 connected to the branch. If it is greater, that means we can successfully purchase this tank. And to purchase it, you can just get the coins, subtract, I'll use the scalar and we're subtracting 20. After we subtract that value, we'll set it back to our variable coins. Couple more things that we need to do here is switch the skin of our tank. To do that, we can say sprite renderer set sprite and connect the right settings here. So for the sprite, we're gonna use the tank red and we're gonna be changing the sprite renderer of our top down tank. So connect that. And the last thing, after we do the upgrade, I want to remove this upgrade so we can call object destroy and pass self as the object. So this is the logic for this simple upgrade and let's go test it out. Currently I have only 10 coins and if I try to collide with that tank, nothing happens because we don't have enough coins. So let's collect enough coins, 24, 26. And if we collide now, you can see that the tank upgrades right away. So that's just a simple way that you can create a small coin shop. This way you can create more upgrades around your level. I am working on a coin shop system, so it's going to have a little bit more options and stuff. Keep an eye open on that. And if you want to get this demo game and a whole bunch of other units that I'm creating, be sure to check in description for the link where you can get the collection of my units. Like always, if you liked the video, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not, and I'll see you in the next one.